Mbizu of Umwako. Can I have a word with you? Who are you, please? Hold on. I don't understand. You know me too well to the extent of calling my name and where I come from. You are now making a solo mission to Ozona. Yes. Because a woman of that village has captured your heart. That means that finally, Ndubizu of Umwaku is thinking about the future. And I wonder, can a man rightly face the future without first dealing with his past? Hold on. What are you saying? I see the future. I see hope. Regrettably, I see the past. You are in the midst. He sees the future. He sees hope. He sees the past. Hold on! Please, please! Beautiful woman of Omambala. Can I have a word with you, please? Ndubizu of Umwaku. What do you have to say to me? What is going on? Have I become so popular in Okwele Kingdom that all the people know my name? Why did you call me back? See, I encountered a man here. He, some few minutes ago, he said some weird things that I, I don't understand. I immediately followed him to this truck. I did not see him again. Uh, actually, I, I, I saw you having your bath. I, I'm so sorry, uh, but I did what every honorable man would do. I left the stream and came here to wait for you. Please, do you know him? Describe that man. Good. He's elderly, complete gray hairs, with dark spots under his eyelids, and still athletic. Please, do you know him? He, he, he says something like being in the middle, and I don't want to be caught being in the middle. Please. The nakedness of the Omambala woman is different from the nakedness of all the maidens in this kingdom. You have seen the nakedness of Omambala woman, and we shall have reason to resurrect the rep. It will happen soon. Apologize to you. I do not know. Please, can, can, can I just say something? Please, just one minute.
Um, that we are one with your people is not news. That both communities are under one king is also not news. What is news is that your people of Umwako village are never in a hurry to marry from another village. Oh, nay, nay, nay. That is them. Nay, I am different. Mm, yes, you are. Um, I am pleased that you, a hunter from Umwako village, you have come to my house with this keg of palm wine to ask for my daughter's hand in marriage. Nay, nay, I have not just come to ask for asking sake. Nay, I have come to take Nachi and make her my wife. Nay, you, Nachi is like a fountain to me. She, she, she's the only woman who reminds me of my mother. From the way you are sounding, I am beginning to believe that you have known our Osunashi before now. I have known her for two, two months. No, 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 now with due respect, uh, not that kind of known. Uh, I mean, uh, we have been talking and she, she's expecting me to make this move. What I'm just doing is uh, the Nzoba Tokba. As one, somebody from Omar. Of course, we know what Nzoba Tokba means. Mm. Uh, it is expected that uh, the suitor makes this uh, move alone. Uh, once he gets acceptance from the girl's parents, he goes back to his family and they plan an elaborate marriage. Nay, please, I have come to you people. I am pleading with you people to accept me. Nachi. Here is a young man from Momoako village. Um, he has come here with this keg of palm wine, requesting for your hand in marriage. From what he told uh, my brother Anene and I, uh, it's like uh, both of you have known one another for about two months and uh, he also said that you know that he's going to come here hmm? i have now called you to seek for your confirmation do you give us permission to accept this palm wine to drink this palm wine mm -hmm. and also to ask him to continue with the other moves to make you his wife. Okay. Okay. When I look at you, I, I see my mother. And I know to her that you are that woman that will take her place. What I hear you say is that you wish I'm your wife. Mm. I don't just wish, I want to see it. See, Osina, the sun and the moon rise in your eyes. When I come to take you as my wife, you will be the sun and the moon lights that lights up my world. Well, if you want that to happen, you can come and see my father, my village, and your village are very close. I will do that very soon. I'll come and perfect all your plans. Don't ask me to do that. Don't come to the game. Um, it's like uh, you remembered something. Nachi, if you do not like this man, let us know. If you know him and you like him, also let us know. I've known him for two months, like he said, and I love him enough to want to be his wife. 
Oh, could I go and quit? Nero quote, and you know, she's even excited. Um, and to be so, based on that confirmation of hers, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to list all the requirements that you're going to bring to make her your wife, possibly by the last decade of the coming month. If you are able to fulfill our condition, then we shall hand her over to you as your wife. Oh, <laughs> uh, Nai, can I say something? I do not know how to put this, but uh, my heart is overwhelmed with joy. Uh, all I can say is, I thank you all. It's good, Mark. I got that one. Yes, yes. <laughs> you see, my friend, I will not discourage you. Hmm? Because uh, I remember something my father told me in the past. That uh, a good wife can be found anywhere. Uh, 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 I see, I, I have no business with uh, whatever your father told you. I've already made my decision. I will not marry any maiden from this uh, uh, Omaku village. They are all irresponsible. And I don't want to have an irresponsible woman. <laughs> I don't want to get... Men like you are the reason why many millions will not think twice when they plan to deal with a man. I've even lost count of the number of maidens that you have defiled. It's, it's a pity that you can, you can say such a word. But our maidens are, are, are irresponsible. What can we can I call I do not call you here for us to discuss the maidens of uh, uh, Omaku. I just call you because I need your opinion on something. Oh. Opinion on what? Opinion on what? See. On my way to Uzuno, I met a weird man who told me something that I, I'm yet to understand. Things like what? He, he, he said you cannot face the future without dealing with the past. I, I immediately I followed him. The next thing, I found myself around the dreaded Omambala stream where I saw a beautiful Omambala woman having a bath. If you see this woman, Hey! What do you mean to tell me that you saw a woman of Omambala naked? Yes, I even encountered, uh, uh, I even had an encounter with her. And from the way she abandoned me, it was obvious she was angry. <laughs> I tell you what. You have to suspend every marriage plans that you have and deal with this problem you've just created for yourself. Well, can you see the problem why I said you have a problem? You see, what problem did I create for myself? Hey! Oh, go, go, go. Hey, Lulu. Hey, Lulu. The electrifying god of the people of Omambala yeah. does not take lightly, does not deal lightly with rapists. And men who, you, who look at the nakedness of the women of Omambala. Ha! Any man can rape every other woman from every other village in this kingdom and go scot free. But no, no, no man, nobody can rape a woman of Omambala and go scot free. Mark it here, I'm telling you, it is impossible. So let me tell you, you better deal with this rape. You better deal with this rape. See, 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 see. You see, you see my problem with you? Did I tell you that I raped a woman? What, what did you now do? What you guys did on her? Uh huh. While she was having a bath? Uh huh. <laughs> what do you call that? That is rape, my brother. That is rape. Look, you have to deal with this issue. Or you leave to face the wrath of a woman. <laughs> We have seen the nakedness of Omambala woman, and we shall have reason to resurrect the rape. Get the key in nature, yourself. Get the key in nature. What are you thinking? 
I'm disappointed in you. You, you, are, you are just an idiot, idiot you know now. You see, you see someone you don't even know, a strange spirit called human being. I'm mad, I just, I'm mad, I just, I don't, I just don't know. And you begin to follow him. You, you will not, I'm, I'm a man. He will enjoy God. Hey, 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 hey. Sometimes I wonder how, how both of us are having friends. I don't know how I just came in contact with this good and he joked. This is Ojugo that I brought from the Oracle. I want you to collect it from me. With you, fella. I am surprised at this your visit. I am not in a hurry to receive this cola from the hand of the head of the ambassador of our oracle. What is that cola for? I am here in peace this night. I don't know why you are not collecting this call or not from my hands. We are dragging this matter unnecessarily. It is not always that the priest of the oracle visits a man with cool or not. I have not seen it happen before. That's why I'm asking. What is this cooler for? Juan Yego, the former wife of the oracle, died 30 years ago. Are you not aware of that? I don't know her and I don't know why you are asking me about the wife of the oracle. <clears throat> the oracle desires another wife. And you are the person that will make it work. Make it. I don't know what you mean. True, the oracle is the oracle of our land. But the truth of the matter, which you know, is that I do not have any relationship with the oracle. So, how am I the person that will make anything work for the oracle? You have a daughter named Osinachi. When this moon becomes full, bring her to the oracle, for she is the next wife of the oracle, and don't ever die the gods. What you're asking me to do is what I will never do. Are you ready to collect this colonel from my hand, or do you want to die the oracle? I will not receive this colonel from your hand because my daughter must be allowed to make her choice. She is the one you came for, not me. When you make up your mind, you can call it the call or not. I shall be waiting for you in the oracle at full moon. And don't you Ever dare the oracle? Do they think I'm a fool? Do they think I did not hear them? Is that what they thought? I heard everything. And you know what, Daddy? I would never, ever get married to an oracle. Never. Take it easy. Okay? 
Don't. Don't pick up that corner. Go back to the kitchen. Father, I will not get married to the Oracle. I your message. The color note was not received from my hands, but we left it with the man in his compound. His refusal not to collect the color note from my hands means only one thing. He wants to die the oracle. And I want you to move in your mind and get that woman your choice of wife by yourself. She shall be yours when I come back again. He said, She shall be yours on all your market day. He said, She shall be yours on our market day. He said, She shall be yours on our market day. He said, O do polo go polo da yolo no do polo do polo da yolo. Mm. I, I saw the priest of the oracle when they passed the copper. And I, I, I was wondering where they were going. I never knew they were coming to see my brother. Hmm. And then one then okay, my brother. <laughs> you can imagine the kind of picture these people came to paint in my house. That O Sinachi, my one and only daughter, is going to be the wife of the oracle. And I mo. One day we are gonna have in law to the oracle. Okay, Kweme, is it possible? <laughs> what did you do, Anene? I told you not to pick that color. Why did you pick it? Is here. The last thing we can afford to start in this family is to give the oracle the impression that we are starting a war. It is not good for the family. There is nothing wrong in Osinashi being the wife to the oracle. What? You are just, you are just, you are just, you are just getting angry for nothing. Have you paused to think about this thing? Do you know the number of goats, the number of cows that men from all other kingdoms sacrifice to the oracle on a weekly basis? When Osinashi is married to the oracle, you are going to become a wedi man. Because all these things that are sacrificed to the oracle shall be coming to you. The family will become rich, wealthier. To me, is here. Wealth is wealth. It does not matter where the wealth is coming from. See it from that angle. Uncle Anene. Now I'm forced to believe that you are the one orchestrating the plan that I get married to the Oracle. But I'm here to tell you that I am a grown woman and I make a choice for myself. And that does not include getting married to an Oracle. No. So go back to them with your colour now to tell them that they have failed. Is she? Osina, she is only a woman. A girl. And, and possibly a virgin. 
He doesn't understand anything. You are the one that must guide her. You are the one that must open her eyes for her to actually understand that this is a blessing for the family. This Kula not from the other Kula, I will go with it and I will see you tomorrow. It cannot afford to stay outside. Mavgish. Kashifu. Hey! Hey! And then, my brother. Why is he always like this? Eh? Huh? Who are you and what are you doing here? Oh, please free me. Free me before they come back. They have kept me here for three days raping me. Who? The priest of the Oracle of Ezebedi. They deceived my people. They came and one of them married me as his wife. They finally brought me into this land. And I found out I was married to the Oracle. A human being is married to the oracle? That's what I found out. But that was never what I was told. They have refused to let me go back to my people. And they're raping me every day. This is unacceptable. Please help me. <laughs> Who are you? And what are you doing with the woman married to the oracle? I can readily see that both of you are the priest of the oracle of Rosemary that she's talking about. I have listened to this woman. And I believe her. You have kept her here for three days, raping her. That is unacceptable. This lady was the priest today of all of us who just died. You called for your death. And you shall get it. For you to come before the king so early means that uh, something is eating you up. Can I hear what it is? Your Majesty, as you go of Okwele Kingdom, I bow in greeting. I came before you as a loyal servant to make inquiry from the throne. I'm listening. Uh, Your Majesty, I actually came in connection with the oracle. In this land, there are men and women that we call sons and daughters of the oracle because their mothers were married to the oracle. Now, I, I came to ask, when a woman is married to the oracle, who is the man or who are the men that sleep with that woman to put her in the family way to reproduce sons and daughters for the oracle? Your Majesty, you are asking an irresponsible question. I hope that's not the reason why you are here so early before the king. Your Majesty, that question cannot be said to be useless. It is an important question. And I need you to answer it. Because there are too many things going wrong in this kingdom that we need to start in time to address. That's why I'm here. The oracle is a deity and he has always been a deity. Spirit. And we know that there is no way he can metamorphose into a physical entity that will begin to sleep with women. So I, I, I know there are men in this land that are doing that. Who are those men? 
that sleep with these maidens that are married to the oracle. You can tell you have butcher even jibia. His welcome has expired. Leave the presence of the king now! Listen, before you bust your face, I want to make an important clarification. You defend them. This man that is sitting down here is the king of this land. He's my king. I am only a loyal subject. I came to the king because I am confused over an issue. I came to ask questions and to seek clarifications. Or are you not telling me that I have no right as a man of this land to come before my king and ask questions and seek clarifications? Is that what you are saying? You are not asking questions. I am not seeking for clarification. What you are saying portrays you as biased. Now, I order you to leave my presence. Huh? Now, leave! Leave this palace now! I said no! Leave this palace now! I said leave this palace now! This, this question, leave! This question that I'm asking. I said move! Leave! How can a man from this land come to ask me this nonsense question? The moment he described the man he saw, I knew you were the one. But I'm just wondering why an old priest like you should lead a strange man to behold the nakedness of Omambola woman. And you knew I was having my birth there. To rape with the eyes may not be as bad as rape for real. That is with the physical strength. We needed that rape with the eyes to have a link with the rape that led to death. But old one, you told me that Elulu was going to handle it himself. So why did it come up again? We are apostles working for the gods. I'm sorry he saw you. But take it as one of the sacrifices you've made for Elulu. He will see you smile at the end. I don't understand you. <laughs> what did you do that warranted your being carried out of the palace? You see, I don't want to go into that. What I now know is the way few fell. And that other one, the co-priest of the oracle, both of them are jesters. And they can play their game with other people and succeed. There is no way they will ever succeed with my niece. <laughs> Is this you? Really you? When did you change? Or did you hear anything? This year. I didn't just hear. I had a revelation last night. Two priests of an oracle. Oracle of Ozemede. We are raping an innocent girl. Who was forced into marriage? Snagging a man. What? The innocent girl eventually found out after the marriage that she was actually married Oracle of Ozemede. And they were raping her for three uninterrupted days, tied her down in the bush and were raping her. Goodness me. Unbelievable. It took that revelation for me to start asking myself a lot of questions. Those maidens that are eventually married to the oracle. Who are the men that sleep with them? If not the priests of these oracles. Mm. Mm. And you know that naturally the maidens will always resist these priests and they will be they will be raped. I now know after the revelation that this is exactly what they have planned to unleash on our own Osnashi. And I came here this morning to meet Osnashi and apologize because I know she will be very angry with me for what I did and what I said last night. 
Where is she? Hey. Osinachi. Yes. Osinachi went to Enuabu Mimi to see her mother's younger sister. Anene. Anene. I'm happy about this, your revelation. It was so clear. This, your revelation, is an eye open now. Hmm. Eh? Let me tell you. You see, this whole arrangement of marrying off a maiden to the oracle does not make sense to me. It does not make sense to me as, as well. We must stand and fight it. And that is exactly what I have started. Yeah, Look at this. The same color knot they brought with them last night. Mm. What do you want me to do with this? And then uh, I told you last night, do not touch that cooler. You went ahead and, and, and picked it. I don't know what you're going to do with it though. Okay, sorry to have bothered you with this. I, I'm, I'm, don't worry, I'm, I'm going to handle it. You will? Oh, I'll handle it. <sighs> um, there is roasted yam in here in case you're hungry. Ishi, I am not hungry. I am angry. Mm. Very, very angry with the king. Because I have every reason to believe He's part of this. And then, you are right though. It's possible. You needed to have seen his face when I confronted him. Hey, man, he, there is no way he can exonerate himself. I know why you came to me. Now that your mother is no more here to guide you. I am now your mother. And you trust me. That's why you're here. I'm impressed. So, can you please tell me everything you know about this Panta from Umako village? I've already told you everything, Auntie. He's just a man that can go all out for the woman that he loves. Importantly, he's made me an oath to marry just me and me alone. And all my life, that has been my desire. To marry a man who would not desire another. Mr. Nechi, I think you're deviating from what your mother said. I don't understand. I mean, the condition you are attaching to this man who will marry you is quite different from what your mother told me before she died. He must be a man with massive respect. A man people pay homage to. It doesn't really matter if you his only wife or not. I would not get married to a man who is married. I would not get married to a man who is going to marry after marrying me. No. My husband is supposed to be for me and for me alone. I do not want to share him. I found that man. He is Indubizu, the hunter from Umaku. This Indubizu, the hunter from Umaku village, does he have the respect among people? I mean, do people pay him homage? I know that he has the potential to attain that height. He will. Just bless us. Bless us. Listen, your mother loved you so much. I'm sure she won't be happy where she is to finally see that you disobey her. No, I'm not disappointing her. <sighs> At the end of the day, marriage is all about love. And he loves me. And I love him too. And to just bless us so that we can leave. I am not comfortable with the way you are looking round the oracle. What are you doing here? 
away if you fell. Speak! When a maiden is married to the oracle, who is the man or who are the men that sleep with her? I ask because the oracle is a deity that cannot sleep with any woman. Can you name me a baby? When you leave this oracle today, do not ever come back here. Noted. I will not come back. But can you please answer the question? Leave! Silo! Ndiba si no bona via dromolila. O de mongwenaga. Any merchandise that is not good to be sold must be returned to wherever it is coming from. This is the same Ojugo you brought with you last night. I have returned it back to this oracle with seven additional kulanots to announce to the oracle that two Sinashi will never be married to this oracle. The oracle will not kill me. Because both of you who are the ambassadors of this oracle have not provided leadership. By answering simple question. We must know who is the man that is marrying the woman for real before we release the woman to be married. And as long as both of you are not willing to answer this question, understand it that Osinash is not going anywhere. Then all Jinjibia. God. Mm. The only thing you have done by this action, you have just made yourself a priest before this oracle. You are going to see what you seek. For how long must we continue to tolerate this insult before this oracle? For how long? If they fail to bring that Medina before this oracle, I shall use my powers. Achalugo mama lama o sinachi ne peka mi ya ne ke koma o sinachi ifi cholo menegi o sinachi o sinachi Uncle good afternoon How are you I'm fine thank you uncle I'm not going to ask you where you're coming from because I already asked your father and he told me that you went to see your mother's younger sister in Eno Abonimi. And I know you're coming from there. Uncle, I don't know why you're asking after me. But if he has anything to do with getting married to the Oracle, then it's a no. The truth, as it is now, is that you will never be married to any Oracle. Yes. I told your father already, and I'm happy telling you the same thing. I don't understand. I thought you were in support of them. That was yesterday, my dear. And I did because I had no information of what maidens that are married to the deities and oracles. I had no information of what they face. I now have additional information on that subject, and I'm telling you that there is nothing that will ever make you to be married to any deity or any oracle. So, Uncle. What are these additional information that you acquired that made you change your mind of life? <laughs> I, I do not know what you people are still doing here. I'm not owing any of you anything. Why are you behaving as if you're too smart when you're not? Whatever you're planning is not fair to the maidens of this land. We too have come here to register our oppositions to you. And we are going to sort you out very soon. <laughs> well, it's obvious that uh, you people have come here to provoke me to the point where I will rise and slap you. 
You may die in the process, and they will say Ndubizu is a murderer. Now, I'm wiser than that. I want you all to leave my compound. Listen, Ndu, this is not a joke. The news is everywhere that you want to go to Uzuna and get a wife. Eh? You've even arranged that the elders should accompany you. I, 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 don't, I don't understand. Hey, don't, hey, don't I have the right to, to, to pick any maiden from any of the villages in our kingdom or even other kingdoms? Okay. Don't I? Okay. Now you want to go to Uzuna and pick a wife. Mm -hmm. How about all the maidens of this land that you've defiled? Yeah. Eh? Do you know how many maidens you've deceived here? Do you know? How can you just go to another village and go and get the wife? Eh? I'm going to make it. Okay. Um, Adama. And uh, what's that your name again? <laughs> Amaka. See, I'm a hunter in this land. And maidens cluster around me because they like my meat. Hey. So, we are they responsible for their stupidity? We all are from Okwele Kingdom. And I can pick any maiden as a wife from any village. Mm. Have you heard about anything of it? About the power of a woman? Nah, I never leave that in. The power of a woman cannot bring me down because I did not rape anybody. Eh? Mm -hmm. You did not rape anybody? How are we so sure that you did not rape anybody like you claim? How? Uh, uh, see, 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 see. Uh, I have an, a very big occasion coming. I just want people to leave my compound so that I can concentrate. We shall leave this compound as you have said. After all, this compound has never been a wonderful place for any of the maidens of this land. But one more thing, your fingers are burning. Coco. The agony and sorrow of all the maidens of this land that you have defied will visit you one after the other. You shall have no peace. You shall never rest till you die. In, listen to me, Indu. This thing will not end here. I promise you, it will not end here. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, listen, 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 listen. Can I ask you a question? Am I the one who banished morality from Uma? I chose to marry from Ozuno because that is the only village where you can get a woman, a maiden who is decent enough to stay in their husband's house without opening their legs to other people. In fact, you would just get out. Get out! Get out! Come on! Get out! Let's go. Move. Hey, come to think of it. How did they know that I'm making arrangements to marry? It was only two elders I told this. Two elders I trust so much. Hey, 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 hey. Does it mean that men also gossip? The revelation was timely. There was a maiden married to the oracle that was revealed to me. And for three days, the priests of that same oracle tied her down in the bush and we are raping her. That's so big. I appeared. I was on the verge of, of, of releasing the maiden. And they attacked me. They nearly killed me. It then cleared from my eyes and it became clear to me that it is possible that this is what they are planning for my niece. And I already made up my mind that it will never happen. Mm. I am going to resist them with even the last drop of my blood. Mm. But Uncle, you took the colonel they left behind yesterday. <laughs> my dear, that was yesterday. When I met you coming back from Unabomme, I was actually returning from the oracle where I went to return the Kulanot back to the priests of the oracle. And I made it clear to the ambassadors of the oracle that my niece will never be given to their oracle. If they want a wife for the oracle, they, they have to look somewhere else. Hey, Nayo. How you born, Mom? Mm. Uh -huh. 
Ah, thank you, my daughter. Mm. 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 Welcome. Mm. Hello. Mm. Nai. Uh, Mama, are you back? <gasps> I'm back. I'm so tired. Did you go to Yes. What's Nachi? Nai. What is this thing that I'm hearing? What do you do here? The rumor is everywhere in the market that our owner's Nachi will be getting married to the oracle. <laughs> Almost all the people in the market, we are discussing the same thing. I was told, my mother told me the loneliness that comes with being the wife of the oracle. And I kept wondering the fate of her cousin, Nachi, if she marries the oracle finally. No, Maka, my dear wife, do me one favor, because there is still time. I want you to go back to the market. Gather all those rural merchants that were discussing that topic and tell them to their faces that their sisters will be the ones that will be married to the oracle. Not us, Nachi, my niece. She has a man of Omaku that wants to marry her. And that man of Omaku must be the one that will be her husband. Us, Nachi, my niece, must never be married to any oracle. I like the boldness, my husband. Uh -huh. I like the boldness. Uh, Betty Nani, do you think you have what it takes to challenge the oracle? Mama. Auntie, I am the one who is getting married. I should choose a man for myself. Uh -huh. And I know what I want. And certainly, getting married to a deity it's not one of my plans at all. That's my girl. If they want their wife for the oracle, they have to look somewhere else. I won't. I know you. Come on, Yaka. Amaka, do you know what I think? I think we should teach Indubis a very urgent lesson. He, he, he thinks that the maidens of this land cannot do anything to him. That's why he keeps. Let's teach him an urgent lesson. What kind of lesson will he teach such a man with that character? He said all the maidens cluster around just because of his needs. He said he can go to any length to prove that it's the maidens that came for him. He never went for any of them. I thought about his claims and I think they're partially right if you may ask me. Amaka, how can you possibly say that? How can you say he's partially? What do you mean partially right? Well, to you or all the maidens in this land, you may be thinking he's right. But to me, he is not right. He was the one that came for Amaka, believe me, he's the one that came for me now. Eh, am I going to lie to you again? Are you serious? Amaka Indubizu came for he came for me. I never Hey, tell me what happened. Why do you touch me like that? I don't like it. Don't touch me like that again. <laughs> Listen to me. When a man loves a woman, he goes out of his way to satisfy her lust and vanity. I have come here this morning to announce my love for you and my readiness to satisfy your lust and your vanity. Mm. I don't know what you mean. Hmm? But listen to me. My father will soon be back from checking his pants. Just go before he meets you here. Forget about your father. I know your father's time to be like the back of my hand. And I know that we still have one more hour. Listen, come. I brought meat for you. Meat. See? Real meat. Good meat. It's yours. Take it. Take it. Take it. Just take it. See, let me tell you something. The best time to appreciate a woman's beauty is in the morning when the sun is just rising. At that moment, she has not enhanced her beauty. She's just the way, the natural way the creator made her. And I want to tell you the truth. I am not disappointed with what I've seen. You know what? You are beautiful. Mm -hmm, don't jump. Okay. 
Thanks for the meat. I must admit that I like it. But you have to go now. Go before my father comes. Oh, no, 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 no. See, accept my gift of meat. Eh? As the one who eats the better part of everything I kill. Okay, accept it. Just like that. Have I also told you that the sun and the moon rise in your eyes? That same sun and the moon also set in your eyes. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. I, I can't believe you actually got me such an expensive gift. It's only fit for a queen. Okay. And that's what you are. A queen. Ada, my queen. Ada, let me tell you something. There's something in you that I have never ever seen in any other woman. You see, Ada? When you sing, you sing like an orchestra of angels. Mm -hmm. And when you dance, you dance like a mermaid. Okay. Are you trying to say I'm good enough to be your wife? <laughs> you see this outfit I bought for you? I wouldn't have bought it for you if I didn't have so much love for you. But listen, the time is coming when that girl will be needed. I love you and I will always love you. <laughs> All the nonsense he was saying the other day hey. that made his cluster around him because of his meat. He came to my father's house and professed love. As a matter of fact, he was so serious that I, I... Hey, look at me now. I, I, I regret ever having anything to do with him. My dear, I believe that other maidens were also caught in the same web of deception. He lied his way into the hearts of other maidens. Yes. Now you understand. See, let us beat him. If we beat him up, it will send a clear warning to whoever is nursing the same idea in their mind. They lure our women into their bed. Let us beat him up. Maka, let's beat him up. Eh? See, it is a war that we must wage against them. Jesus. Maka, what am I saying? Hey! Is that not the, the dreaded Ojima staff? Amaka, see, people do not carry that staff except the first sacrifice they made in. Does that mean that they've killed the maid? I also know that any man carrying that staff must not be alone. And why is he alone? Amaka, let's go. Why is he Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There are men who believe that they are standing with people. Whereas they are standing alone. Daughters of Umaku should not gather to discuss the end of a man who is standing alone. One more thing. When you get to meet the king, tell him that there were kings before him who ruled the people and warmed their ways into the hearts of the people because they established the truth. They never dismissed anyone. Because they knew that the people were important. Go! Amaka, let's go. Ah! You sent for me. Yes. Your name is Adama. The daughter of uh, Odinaka of Umwaku. Yes, Your Majesty. The spiritual head of the masquerade cult of our kingdom. Ask me to summon you that you have a message for the king. I'm listening. I am humbled to be summoned before you, the king, your majesty. But sincerely, I am very confused. Has this call anything to do with the man I saw carrying the Ojima staff? You saw a man with the Ojima staff? Yes, your majesty. Where? He was alone. 
and I know that anyone carrying that staff must not be alone. He frightened us and gave me a message for the king, your majesty. A message for the king? Yes. Oh, give me the message. I'll repeat his exact words, your majesty. He said that kings have found their way into the heart of the people, where king who went out of the ordinary to establish the truth. That those kings never dismissed any man, because they knew that all men were important, your majesty. I'm beginning to understand the true story. As the wife of the Paragon, take a look around this country. Look around this country. As the wife of the oracle, this is your compound. This is where you will spend the rest of your life. You are free to call any man of your choice to play with you here. On no account must you leave this place. What if I have an urgent need that I have to handle personally? As the wife of the oracle, you no longer have a private or personal life. These are the maidens of the oracle. And they are your servants. You must learn to trust them. If there is anything you need, tell them. They already know what to do. I have never agreed to marry the oracle. So how did you lure me into this? She is the wife of the oracle. You shall continue to serve her until you get married. Come and give her your oath of allegiance. You are the wife of the oracle, the queen that we know. I shall serve you with all my heart and shall never betray you. You are the wife of the oracle, the queen that we know. I shall serve you with all my heart, and I shall never betray you. You are the wife of the oracle, the queen that we know. I shall serve you with all my heart, and I shall never betray you. Is anyone at home? Reject it. Reject it. Is anyone at home? This isn't the reason. I had a bad dream. I dreamt that I was already married to the deity and they were introducing me to some maidens that were going to take care of me in, in this very little hut and I was going to stay there for the rest of my life. I was rejecting the dream when I heard your voice. Nachi, why don't we just run away from this kingdom? How can you say something like that? In this village, maidens don't run away with men that are not their husband. It is a taboo and an insult. You see? That's one of the reasons why I decided that I must marry in this village. Make this same offer to, 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 to the useless maidens of, of, of my village. They, 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 they follow you immediately. Eh? 
I'm so sorry. But you see, the maidens of my village are so debased, useless. I think you should direct your anger on the men who deceive them. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Let's, let's forget about them. Let's talk about us. What do you want to talk about? Good. I am ready for marriage, but I will not run away with you. I want us to beat the oracle before the full moon. Your uncle told me that they are waiting for the full moon. They can even wait for another one. The truth is, I will not get married to an oracle. No! Good. Look, my people and I were coming to marry you next, Eke. What? What? Are you sure of what you're saying? <laughs> Are you aware that the next Eke day is next tomorrow? I am aware. And I've told your uncle and he has given me all the he has given me the list of all the necessary things and I've provided for that. I'm so glad. It means that you have to wait for my father to come back. He will come back so very soon. Okay? No, no problem. God, I can't wait to just leave this place. That's right. By the way, I brought some specially roasted meat for you, mm. my love. Mm -hmm. I know you like it. I know that's what you like. <laughs> You like it? Mm. Hello. You like it? Come here. Thank you. The maiden told me that uh, he saw a man with the gym master. And that man was Ado. You are the custodian of the gym master. Are you the person she saw? I will agree with you that I am the custodian for gym master. But what I don't understand is this allegation that I was sighted alone with the staff. I am not aware of it. But if it happened, then it means that the gods used me to send a message. And that message must be taken seriously. Can you exactly tell me why you were asking those questions you were asking the other day? Your Majesty, if not for my love for this kingdom, I would not have answered this call. I came before my king to ask questions and seek clarifications on things I'm confused about. My king refused to answer me. I, 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 was, I was practically bundled out of the palace. Odemma. Please, I'm sorry. Forgive your king. Uh, and, and who am I to bear grudges against my king? I have already forgiven everything. And that is why I came as soon as I was called. I'm here. Now, tell me. Why were you asking those questions? The priest of the oracle came up with the information that the oracle desires a new wife. And they came to our family to announce that Oshinashi, my niece, is the one the oracle has selected as the wife. I was excited. I supported the idea originally. Then, I had a revelation. We are two priests of one oracle of Ozemede. Tied a maiden in the bush. This was the maiden that was married to that same oracle of Ozemede. They tied her in the bush and for three days, they were raping that helpless maiden. It then cleared from my eyes and then I started to understand that this is possibly what the priests of our oracle are planning to unleash on my knees. That is why I came before you to ask that question. A woman is married to the oracle that is a deity. Who is the man or who are the men that sleep with that maiden? That was just the question and I didn't get any answer. What do you know about that? The only thing I can say is that I saw two priests of the oracle walking on the abandoned hut, the hut inhabited by Juan Yego, the last wife of the oracle who died 30 years ago. But I did not bother to ask them why they were repairing the hut. Of course I know. I know why they were repairing the hut. They are, they are repairing that hut because that is where they want to have as their abode. 
where they will use in raping my my, my niece. Mano, oh yeah, yeah, but oh yeah, watch over Nanya. It will not work. How come about that they never inform me about that? Of course, <laughs> there's no way they will tell you. They can't tell you because they know you are a noble king that you cannot support such evil move. I want to see all members of Kojima this night. Please, Your Majesty. Uh, tell your people that we are ready. When you come with your people next tomorrow, we are going to make the ceremony brief. And you go home with your wife. Hmm? Nay, thank you so much. Uh, I'm really impressed. I've been discussing with my wife to be here, and she's equally excited. Hmm. It's good to hear. I know that both of you are going to make a good couple. Thank you so much, Nay. Thank you so much. I was informed that the Oracle desires a wife. 30 years after the last one was buried. I was also informed that you have made a choice from Ozono village. Now I ask, is it true or mere allegation against the priest of our land? There are no allegations. Everything you heard is true. The oracle desires a wife. And we have already made a choice in Osinachi, a beautiful maiden of Uzuna village. I'm not comfortable. Why, Your Majesty? I'm the king of this kingdom. And you are the chief priest of the oracle of my land. How could such a thing arise? in this kingdom and you do not deem it necessary to inform me about it. <clears throat> the ways of the oracle are not connected to the kingdom politics. We didn't deem it necessary to inform you because we know that you cannot stand in the way of the oracle. Okay. When do you hope to pin the marriage? <laughs> In a few days from today, the moon shall become full. And when the moon becomes full, we shall expect Ichi Ugonabo to bring us the maiden. Make you and we have told him because we know he cannot dare the oracle. Now, when the maiden becomes the wife of the oracle, who is the man that takes responsibility for her life with regards to her conjugal needs? There are questions His Majesty must not ask. This is why we decided to follow up with this without bringing in the kingdom politics. I'm asking because someone in this kingdom had a revelation. We are the priest of one oracle tied a median in the bush. And that median was the wife of the oracle. And we are raping her for days. Could this possibly be what we are planning here? Eh? The only thing I will tell His Majesty is that the wife of the Oracle is treated with every respect as a queen. I don't know anything about the revelation on rape. It could happen in another kingdom. Definitely not here mm -mm. in Okwele. Mm -mm. mm -mm. You know, I actually I was I, I was uh, I was actually planning an elaborate and massive marriage, but your father overruled it. He said he wants everything brief. So I uh, say I don't want to ever argue with him. 
Personally, I don't care about the contents of the wedding. I just want to go on with the ceremony, experience it, and know that the gods have blessed us, that I can go home with you as your wife. Okay. You will have your heart's desire. You know what? You are the best. And I will really give you nothing but the best. This is the very first time the king of our Okwele kingdom shall be visiting me at night. I will not say that I am surprised, but I know surely that whatever is the reason for this visit, it must be important. I want to hear it. Obuevo we are the only trusted elder we have in this kingdom. And whenever I'm confused on any matter, we are the only one I rely on. I'm here because I'm confused. What is it that confuses you, my king? What is the process of selecting a wife for the oracle? Thirty years ago, when we buried Mayego, the last wife of the oracle, you were not the king there. There must be a reason for your asking about the wife of the oracle. I'm asking because the priest of the oracle said that uh, the oracle wants to marry again. Uh, if this is true, you must be a lucky man. Because anyone that sits as the king during the time a wife is married to the oracle receives a special blessing from the gods and ancestors. I, I am happy it is happening during your reign. I, I'm elated. But can you tell me? the process of selecting a wife for the oracle. My king, it has nothing to do with you. The oracle speaks to the priests and they speak to the people. When the oracle needs a wife, he makes his choice to the priest and the priest pick it from there. Do I have a role as king? Us. Your role is to uh, ensure that any girl named by the oracle must be married to the oracle. What if the family of the girl, or even the girl herself, refuses to marry the oracle? What shall I do? It has always been the norm. Each time the oracle names a wife, the wife and the family will raise Opposition. The priest of the oracle will come in with his with his powers to enforce the wishes of the oracle. But ultimately, the king is the authority that must use the powers of the throne to ensure that the oracle gets what he wants. Hmm. No with you, Kolacha. <laughs> you are a man of wisdom. You are the original custodian of our custom and tradition. I'm happy. I bow down in greetings. No, 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 my king. No. Rise. Go and implement the verdict of the oracle. I uh, even uh, uh, surprised that it took him a whole 30 years to desire another wife. Um, but one more thing. Who is the man that actually marries this wife for the oracle? Is it the priest? She makes her choice from the people that pay homage to her husband. That is the oracle. 
she can invite anyone from the mayor to visit her royal court. But the thing is that she will never visit any man in his court. I agree with you that Indubuzu has not been quite an honorable man. But that's not good enough reason for you to plan to destroy his marriage. The maidens in the village are angry. It's, it's, it's understandable because uh, Indubuzu has finally, is finally marrying from another village. But what I would not want them to do is to take this matter to the extreme. Bam, 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 bam. Atora, so you believe I'm taking this matter to the extreme? See, listen to me. He claims he's getting married next tomorrow, but this same man is still luring our maidens to his bed. You don't believe me. Even as we speak right now, I have it on a very good note that he has taken Uzomili to his house. Yes. Uzomili? Which Uzomili? My own Uzomili? Or some other Uzomili? I can't lie to you about this. Your own Uzomili, of course. You don't believe me. I don't agree with you. I don't agree with you. This very evening I was with Uzomili. And she told me that she was traveling back to her father's farm settlement. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. You see? You see why everybody in this village has to deal with him to peace? Not just the maidens alone. Even your own in Uzomili does not mean anything to him. You have to handle this. Listen to me. I will not lie to you at all. I don't agree with you, Adama. I find it difficult to believe you. Uzomili is in Ununu right now. And if you are planning, if you are planning to deal with Ndubuzu, I don't do it your own way. Don't get me involved. Please. I'm leaving. Uh, Adora, wait. Don't go. Be go. Don't go. See, listen to me. My name is Adama. Okay. You know me very well, as well as every other person in this community. I am not a busybody. Even if you don't believe me, why don't you go and verify? Let's go and verify now. Stop it. What do you think you're doing? I am betrothed to your friend at all. Why would you seek to sleep with me? Listen, from the way you're talking, it's a confirmation of the fact that you're still a virgin. So, if you know that I'm a virgin, why would you want to defile me? I'm here because you told me you'd be going to the bush uh -huh. and that you will lead me to my father's settlement in Ununu. It is clear to me that you had other plans. Oh, no, 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 no. How can you say things like that? See, I'm a great hunter, but I don't go for all those small, small animals that move in the afternoon. I go for deadly animals that move at sunset. And you still go. See, now just give me what I want. Just come Wait, on. wait. Just please. give me what I want. Wait, wait. wait. Let, let me be sincere with you. In the busy. Oh, what's that your name again? You will not have me. And I will never, ever follow you to the bush. Oh, oh. It's, 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 it's obvious you want me to rape you. See, just do. I will do exactly what I've said I will do. See, I've done it before and I will still do it again. Just like that. Wait, wait, wait. You're not serious. Will you give it to me? Will you give it to me? You give it to me or see how I'll be a bit at that house. I've done it, sir. Come on. Come on, lie down. You want to rape me, woman, betrayed to your best friend. I'm just Who is that? It's me, Adam. Huh? Mama, we need to go. How much this destroyed me will always work for me now? What is it? What, what is it? Ajo. You have no shame. Ajo, I yes, my best friend. You want to sleep with all my friends before you close your legs? <laughs> what, can, what is it? In the busy. Why, why, why do you want to punch me? Shut up! Just shut up! You have, you have nothing to explain to me. Because I was listening to the arguments you guys were having inside. So just shut up and don't provoke me. So this is you. This is you. After all, I did for you in this kingdom. You had the guts 
to lure my own woman into your heart that you will sleep with her. Okay, why are you just concluding on something you, 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 you did not see? Shut up! Shut up! Oh! What do you see? So, what are you trying to tell me? If we didn't know at the time that we did, it would have been a different story. You would have raped my own woman that I was about to marry That's after the harvest. That is in the business of you. Are you? Are you? <laughs> I have every reason to be angry with you. But I will not be. But I want you to understand something that I'm completely disappointed in you. Completely disappointed in you that you could be so gullible. Easily cornered. Hey! Please, my lord. I am sorry. Please forgive me. You know the road to Onono is very frightening. I planned to go with my friend, but she disappointed me. Along the line, I met Ndubizi. <laughs> and he promised to lead me there. I don't want to hear any of that argument. Because it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to me. Adora, please, it's okay. What it's is this? Okay. She didn't go to him. It was Ndubizi that I'm your I'm very angry right now. <laughs> eh? Very angry that I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything, something that I will regret later. Ah. Anyway, thank you for that information. Are you hearing me? Now, just take her home me? and you go home yourself. You I'll see you tomorrow. Please, my love. Please. Don't say one more thing because I'm really angry. I am boiling at this moment. Don't provoke me beyond this point. Uzzaman, don't provoke me beyond this point. <laughs> Don't worry, stand up. Adora, stand up. Don't worry, stand up. Ew. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Don't cry again. Don't worry. Isia, the news is everywhere in this kingdom that Rosinaji is getting married to the Oracle. And I am sure that it must be the chief priest of the Oracle that caused that information to spread everywhere. I don't know what you think, but I'm telling you as my brother that I'm going to deal with that man. <sighs> my brother, what are you going to do? Do you know that every person I told about the ceremony that is going to happen here next tomorrow declined the invitation? They said they will not dare the oracle. All of them said that they will not attend a ceremony where a woman that has been named the wife of an oracle is given to a man. So from the look of things, it's going to be you and me that will be there to give uh, our daughter, our daughter's hand away in marriage. You see, you're gonna be one name when you when you sound this way. I, I, I only have this impression that you look down on me. Mm -mm. And then my brother, I'm not looking down on you. I'm only telling you the truth. The handwriting is on the wall. You and I are the only ones that are in this alone. You know, it is very clear to me that you are weak on this. And I'm telling you that I'm not even bothered. Because I can go all out alone. I was the one that saw the revelation. I saw the revelation and I know what I saw. The rape. And there is no way I will ever allow our Osinashi to be married to the oracle. Where she will be turned into a sex slave. It's not possible. Anene, my brother. I share your sentiments. But I want us to remember that... Here we are talking about the oracle. The oracle. And what about the oracle? What about the oracle? Which oracle? I took pains to investigate on the bees of Omaku. The only thing I found out is that he is a womanizer. 
No, you don't need to be surprised. Because I investigated him. A womanizer. His own level of irresponsibility is so high that he has practically slept with almost all the maidens in Omaco. And then, if that is what you found out, why are we then going ahead with this ceremony? Because I can tell him, I can tell him, he's a human. I can tell him, pin him down where I want him to, to be. And then, I am not ready to give my one and only daughter to a man that has no respect for womanhood. I prefer him ahead of the oracle because he is a human. If after marrying Osinashi and he fails to treat her the way she has to be treated, I will beat him up. It is better for us to allow Ndubizu to marry Osinashi because if the oracle marries her, we are helpless. What did I give him? I bring you greetings from the throne. We greet you also. Um, so what do we owe the honor of this visit and greeting? The king would like to see you before the throne first thing tomorrow morning. Has anything happened? I'm only a messenger of the throne and I've delivered the message. Do not fail to appear before the king. It is a matter of life and death. Anene, did you hear that? Did you hear that? A matter of life and death. Eh? What does that mean? It means nothing. Is this why you stood? What are you, why, why, why? It's just a useless language that the king coined in the palace to intimidate us. I am not intimidated. And I wouldn't want my brother to be intimidated. Is it because of this, this, this good love that he said? Is, is that what you stood? Oh, no, 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 no. My dear, you have to go home now. I will stop here. Thank you very much. I never knew what would have happened if he didn't come to my rescue. I never knew he was like that. Now you know. I do not want to stand here and discuss a low life like Ndubizu. But I don't know what you were thinking when you followed him all the way to his house. What were you thinking? He was supposed to take me to my father's farm settlement. You know? I go to his place and he started acting funny. I never thought of what he eventually started because he knows I'll be getting married to his best friend. That is because you don't know him. Now you know who he is. You have to be very careful. And pray that Atora forgives you. Do you understand? Good night, my dear. Thank you. Good night. What's it? Your face is not looking bright at all. Are you not going to tell me what the problem is? I overheard your husband say some negative things about my husband to be. It just weakened me. Really? I can see there is a problem here. Can someone tell me what the problem is? Osina, she said she overheard you saying something negative about the young man of Umwaku that wants to marry her. Mm. Mamaka, my dear wife, can you please excuse us? Online. Oh.
Can you please tell me the negative thing you have heard me saying about the man of Omako? What are you doing there now? Come inside now. I'm waiting for you to go to the room. You said I should come and tell you now. Are you going to stay as I want you to come inside? I should come inside. Come inside and do what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to waste any time here. See, you have already seen me coming with you. I don't want to waste any time before they will start thinking of something else. Teacher, why are you doing this now? Just come inside now. Just come and come inside now. Come inside and do what? Okay, see, eh? see, 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 I'm going to do a sizable lot of it tomorrow. What's your reason, Latam? Hey! See, just come and help me now. Just come, just come and help me. I should come and help you. Eh? Hey! Aro! Believe that you're under a curse. Me. Now I'm beginning to understand. Yeah. You can keep the money or you give it to my mother when you see her tomorrow. What is the meaning of this? Why are you learning? Just to tell you how helpless I am. Just come and help me. Hey. If you leave me like this, I will not survive tomorrow. Just name my just help me. Hey! Hey! Be cool, be cool. Hey! Just come and help me, be cool. I never know it is this bad. Hey! You can never make me part of your course. Hey! Eh? Just come and give it to me now. Just give me just. I, I, I should give it to you. I, I should give it to you. Take it now. Take it. I should give it to you. Useless man. Come and take it now. Give it to you. Oh, come and take it. You don't want to take it. To you. Does it mean that the maidens of Umaku no longer like meat? How come I can't have any meat this night? Hey. I don't think I want to go on with that marriage. Why? Is it because I told you he isn't a woman? That is nothing, Osinashi. It is nothing. I sincerely believe that everything will become normal with him when he is married. <laughs> Since I was a child, I've always known the kind of man I want to marry. Nachi, I'm that man. Listen, Nachi, I, I find in you a complete woman. And when we become man and wife, you see, 
That will be the best thing that has ever happened to my life. I have a different orientation about marriage. Some say I'm too demanding. Nachi, listen, I am the great hunter from Omago. I have all it takes to satisfy your demands. My demands are not material things. I'm not one to demand material things. So, what is this demand? And what is this? different orientation you have about marriage. Men of this town feel it's okay to marry many wives. Half the women of this village, if not all of them, actually share the same thought. But I don't. My husband will be mine and mine alone. And any man who gets interested in getting married to me would not desire another woman after marrying me. Never. That will never be a problem. See, I don't even want to marry more than one wife. See, that you are not into women. And if the gods bless me with a woman like you, why do I need another woman? What? Rotate around your head and throw it away. This will be our oath that you would never back out from what you have just promised today. Never. I've always wanted a woman like you for a wife. I love you so much. And I want to promise that no other woman will ever come in between us. Love shines brighter than the sun. Two hearts are stronger when the beat has won. Nothing I'm angry because he lied to me. He told me that he was not a womanizer. And here you are confirming to me that he's a conk womanizer. How on earth am I going to get married to such a man? Okay. Would you rather then be married to the Oracle? I am not going to get married to the Oracle too. I will stay single until I see that man that fits my dreams. Oh, Nashi, you cannot do this to yourself. You cannot crucify this man because he is into women. It does not make sense. Before I met my wife, my dear, I was also into women. But everything changed when I got married. And I believe the same thing will happen to this individual of homework. We have to do everything possible to give you out in marriage to him before the full moon. Because you cannot afford to remain single until the full moon. If you remain single until the full moon, the oracle is going to take you by force. That is not the faith I want for my niece. Can't you just understand this? Your husband must be a human being, not a deity. Make up your mind, Osnashi, please. Please. We have not witnessed it before. That is why we believe that we can change it. But the truth is that nobody can change our tradition. Nobody. Go now. The priest has already named your daughter, Osinaji, as the selected bride to the oracle. And she must be married to the oracle. Um, uh, Igwe. Osinachi is built to be married to a man from Umwaku village tomorrow. Eh? Maria, we talk about it. Tomorrow? Your mind is already made up concerning this marriage. Are you now telling us to cancel everything concerning the arrangement for that marriage? 
Is that what you are telling us? Okay. We came for an answer. Because we are confused about the whole thing. Why are you giving me the impression that you disobey the oracle? Why are you still talking of the man from Umako? When I'm telling you that your daughter must be married to the oracle? Uh, I don't have time for all these things. I don't have time. Because I know that the tradition will descend heavily on you if you disobey this directive. Uh, uh, but your, your majesty. Yes. Have you forgotten the revelation I had, which I told you about? That your revelation is irrelevant. Because uh, I've inquired from the Iyogwefi Okolota, who is the, the, the encyclopedia of this alliance. And he told me that nobody, nobody can rape the wife of the oracle. So your majesty, who is the man that sleeps with this wife of the oracle? Or are you telling us mm. that the Wilfrey Kolocha confirmed to you that the oracle does that himself? The wife of the oracle makes her choice among the men that pay homage to her husband. And she has the right even to invite a man to her heart. If she becomes pregnant, her child or children will be taken care of, will be cut out for by men and women of this kingdom. Eh? Now, I will give order as the king. The marriage of Osnachi to the oracle must hold on the full moon. But, yes. Mm -hmm. Disobedience by anybody will amount to disobedience to royal order. And uh, I, I believe that uh, your family will not like to experience the rats of the king. I have spoken. The wrath of the, the king. Hey, 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 excuse, excuse me, sir. You, you can't go into that forest. It is dangerous and risky to go into that forest. Who are you, please? I am Eguano, the blind Eguano of Omoawa Kingdom. I am entering the forest to pluck some leaves to cure a woman who has just been beaten by a cobra. If I don't get back to her in the next one hour, she will die. But I know exactly where I'm going to. Why then? Are you blocking me? I am doing this just because I have this feeling that you're not one of those Umongwa men. Wicked Umongwa men that took my people to the shrine. Mm. That means you are from Okwele. I'm happy. For the first time in six years, a man of Okwele is talking to a man of Umwawa. That means you have a good heart. You can now go ahead and talk to me. I am listening. My name is Njakele. I am a hunter from Ukehe village in Okwele Kingdom. I just shot a buffalo in that forest. And that buffalo is not dead yet. If you enter that forest, I'm sorry that buffalo will run you over. I will give you something to control the cobra poison. Please don't enter the forest. <laughs> I am impressed that I have come face to face with the best man of Okwele. Ah, thank you for saving my life.
Um, w w wait, sir. Take this, sir. This is Mpotombiang. It will control the cobra's poison. Take it, sir. <laughs> if I cannot control the cobra's poison from other things I have in my compound, why then am I referred to as the greatest? Huh? Thank you for the offer of Mpotom Nero. I shall break all odds and pay you a visit in Okwele. Um, sir. Do you think that is a, a wise thing to do? I will leave it to George after my visit. A man of Umuma to pay me a visit in Okwele Kingdom. That is certainly going to be your last visit. Indubizu, we are waiting for you. Come out of your heart. Come, yes. Come out, Indubizu. Come out. Come out. We know that you're inside there. Come out. We are giving you your last chance. If you do not come out, we will tell you that we are maidens of this kingdom and we know the traditions that govern us. Come out into business. Come, come out. out. Wait, where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong that this Adama girl cannot just let me be? Eh? You don't want to help yourself by coming out. We shall take action. Yes! We are waiting. I said yes. Can you imagine? I said come out. Hey. Hey. Spirit of our ancestors, I Adama. I am calling on you. Come down and direct us on this path of justice. Yes. yes. There is a man named Indubizu. He is inside his heart and is listening to us. He has defied all the maidens in our village and have decided to go to another village to get a wife. Makagini. Even last night, he tried to rape two of our maidens. If he is right to defile us and go to another village and get a maiden for as a wife, spare him. But if it's not right, <laughs> go to our ancestors! Hey, 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 What is wrong with you? Eh? Why are you invoking the gods against me? I don't know about it.
You are calling for somebody Jackie Lee standing by The gods of the people Are always there for their people You are calling for somebody Jackie Lee standing by Jackie Lee standing by Why did I come here? I would have remained in Uzu Uno and wait for you until tomorrow. I wouldn't have heard all these things. Ha! Based on what I've just heard and what I've seen, I'm telling you that you are not ever qualified to marry us in a Chinese. How can you? Make your conviction based on the rubbish that those stupid maidens were, were, were just. Present. What they said, we are not rubbish. Don't call it rubbish. Maidens that have the audacity to invoke the spirit of our ancestors using the sacred Abubo Glissi cannot be said to be talking rubbish. They meant what they are saying, and based on what I heard, you are not ever qualified to marry Just take it to your. Nah, 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 nah. nah look. If, if you live that like this without conviction, you want to kill me, you go. Ibu gum, ah, Ibu. Yeah, you are my only hope of marrying with Sinachi. Eh, because you busy. Uh, I listened to the very maiden that spoke only yesterday, last night. You made effort to rape two maidens in this village no, or this land. No, it's no, no. How can a man who is planning to get married tomorrow be making effort to rape a maiden? That is madness. And based on that alone, it means you are a madman. And there is no way I will ever allow a madman to marry us, Nachi. And I'm a poor. Nah, nah, okay, okay. Take me, take me to old. Take me to old. Now, nah, see, help me marry us, Nachi. Take me to old. What you are seeing now is not me. Let me marry us, Nachi, tomorrow. And I will remain the best man for her. Because no. The only oath that is acceptable to me is that I will take you to the shrine of Omaku. Hey. Here in your village, hey, and you are going to swear that oath that when you marry your sinashi, my niece, hey. you are going to stick only to her until you die. Hey, but but now, Osinachi and I, we took that same oath. That same oath, we took it. Whatever rubbish oath you took with Osinachi does not make any sense to me because it has no impact on you. After that oath, you are still looking at other maidens and you are still making effort to even rape some. What does that mean? It means that that oath you took with Osinachi is nonsense, it's rubbish, it has no effect. And I don't trust it. I don't believe in that oath. If you are ready, then you are following me to the Shrine of Omar. Hey, okay, now, uh, must we involve a date in this thing? Why can't we just take an oath between the two of us? If you even got that, I just, I just understand you are not serious. Oh, okay, now, okay, okay, okay. I will follow you, I will take the oath. Lock your door. I'm not from here. Lock it inside, just lock it from here. Lock, lock it. My name is Osinachi. My mother gave me that name because she believes that good things will be coming to me from the gods. But I've been thinking a lot. I don't think that Indubizi is, is good enough. I would advise you not to run away because the man who is about to marry you is a womanizer. If you truly, really love him, stay behind and marry him. Haven't you heard the word about what I'm saying? How can you be advising me to stay with such a man like that? How? I got everything you said. And I am advising you based on what I understood. You said you made him swear with Ajani. And if he is really 
a hunter. Then I bet you he knows the potency of Mother Earth. I believe he will change when you marry him. Is it because he's a hunter like you? Is that why you're supporting him? Is it? I speak the truth at all times. And I practice what I preach. Do you know why? Because those of us who make our living from the forest must strive to be upright in all we do. I doubt he knows that. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't. Osinachi, I would want you to judge him based on what he would do to you, not based on what he did before meeting you. I've only met you for just a short while. And you have made such a huge impact upon my life. I wish I met you much earlier. I really wish. I feel the same way too. But there's nothing we can do about it. I wish you a happy married life in advance. Never come here, Oh, you I Oh, Hey, hey! the most I Eh? Very happy for you, Thank you, Auntie. My problem is that this man does not sing. Then we don't have a problem. Because I'm not planning on a big wedding, so we don't need music. Okay. But I'm hoping that you finally teach him how to sing, okay? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> this is lovely, honestly. <laughs> If I had known before now that we arrived here to marry a woman already befriended to the Oracle, I would have insisted that you marry some other lady. I'm telling you the truth. Why, why are you talking like that? Eh? See, how can a beautiful woman like that end up with the oracle? It's not possible. I've told you that she's mine. We have a right for me to marry her just so much. Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Hey! 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 Yeah. Um. 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 Yes. You see this drink I'm holding in my hand. Hmm? If you receive this drink from me, it signals only one thing. That the man that has come to ask for your hand in marriage that you have decided to take him, to accept him. It means that the decision to do that is entirely yours. <laughs> Receive this, this drink from me. Yeah. Then you go and look for that man. Eh? Once you give it to him, 
and he drinks, then we are free to drink our palm wine in peace. man, even in a middle man, even in a middle man. Is a rapist. I never qualified to take that woman. What? A rapist? You remember the question I asked you at Omambala? I said, can a man face the future without first dealing with his past? That question you did not answer anything. You were caught in the middle. There is a living maiden, there is a dead maiden. You must have to deal with your past before dealing with your future, or else Elulu will reduce you to nothing. Hey! Have I not been vindicated? Nehemiah, have I not been vindicated? Control yourself as a man. Control your passions for goodness sake. But you never listen to me. I don't even know what I'm doing here. You're destroying my marriage. Why don't you tell them that I did not rape you? And what makes you think it is me? This is not all about me. You raped me with your eyes, remember? I have forgiven you. But there are other maidens you raped completely, thoroughly. And you feel you can get away with it. Evil man, that is who you are. But I want you to know that you cannot destroy that innocent maiden. This is not the same thing I've been telling you. Is this not the same thing I've been telling you? Deal with the rape before the marriage. But you will never heed to me. It's high time. Listen, it's high time I leave it to your troubles for you to face them alone. Hi. I told you that I did not rape her. I was on my way mistakenly went to the Mambala uh, stream. I saw her taking her bath by mistake and I left. Why are they putting... Oh, oh, what I, I listened to everything they said, my friend. I listened. And I'm sure that you're not telling me everything. There's something you're not telling us. We were thinking that you hey. could be managed. Hey! It, it is just very clear to us now that no family can manage. Ah, some so. Kere bonya si bia. Ah, some so. Ha! Ah, some so. Based on the information you gave me as regards the wife of Jarago, I summoned the father of the chosen median and issued him stern warning, stern warning to allow their daughter to be married to Jarago. All the elders here can bear me witness. It happened before us. Yes. I invited you here because it has come to my notice that my order has been violated. <sighs> they went ahead and organized a marriage ceremony for that maiden to be married to a hunter from Umwa. Now I ask, what shall we do? What shall we do? Nothing. Hmm? What do you mean by nothing? The ways of the gods are different from the ways of men. Elulu is the electrifying god of Omambala people. He's making a move that has something to do with past evil of Hunter of Umwak. Uh, we should not even interfere. Are you possibly inferring that uh, we should leave them to continue this glaring rape of a royal order. Before the rape of the royal order, as you called it, there were series and series of proper rape of helpless maidens by the hunter of Umag. One led to death. And you know, evils do not go unpunished in Okwele Kingdom. 
and indeed in all the kingdoms that uphold the sanctity of the motherland. Let a different thing be the obsession of this throne and not uh, the hunter of Umak. Elulu! Elulu! The electrifying god of the people of Mama does not deal lightly with the rapist. And men who you who look at the nakedness of the women of Omamala. Ha! Any man can rape every other one from every other village in this kingdom and go so free. But no, no, no man, nobody can rape a woman of Omamala and go so free. Man, it's not really impossible. So let me tell you, better deal with this rape. You better deal with this rape. You are the one doing this. Do what? What do you mean? What did I do? Why are you punishing me for this? For a mistake? I told you that I did not come to that stream intentionally to look at your nakedness. It was the old man who led me and to that. And that man met you because he wanted you to look into your past so you can reshape your future. But you refused to listen to him. Anyway, that is not what I came here for. I came to tell you that you will soon experience the agony of that innocent maiden. The agony of which innocent maiden? She told you she was returning from her purification. You see, sometimes I wonder the kind of beast you are. Good singers are good dancers. See, I do not need your song. You are going to dance for me today. I'm sorry, but I don't know what you want from me. Listen, we'll go gently into the bush and you give it to me and you become my friend. Or I'll drag you into the bush by force. 
take it from you and we become enemies. See, don't ask me to explain what it is that I want you to give me. Because you already know the choice is yours. My name is Amuma. I am a maiden of Umambala, returning from her purification. So? What I'm carrying here is the water for my sanctification because I will appear before Elulu this night. I am getting married tomorrow. Please, let me go. Are you, are you getting your words? Move, move or I move you. It's like you didn't get what I just explained to you gently. I am just coming back from my purification because I'm getting married tomorrow. Please, let me go. Yep, yep, yep. How did you get to know all this? Nothing is hidden under the sun. Of all the maidens you have raped, that one remains the climax of your brutality, your barbaric life and wickedness. She was to appear before Elulu for sanctification that would lead her to marrying the oldest son of the priest of Elulu. She was seen unclean, defiled, to marry the eldest son of the priest of Elulu. All because you raped her. All because of your wickedness. And now she killed herself because she couldn't stand the shame. Now, her blood is up for vengeance. Please, I am on my knees. Make it easy for me. I am entirely a new man. I have gotten rid of the brutality of the past. Please. See, you are a beautiful woman. You can bail me out. See, I will make you my wife if you can avert the wrath of the uh, gods of Omambala people. Please help me. Ndubizu <laughs> of My name is Adugo, the daughter of Ego. You see, I know you. Your parents gave birth to you with two legs. And now, because of your stupidity, you are standing with one leg. What, 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 what do you mean by one leg? I have two legs, two legs. You see, you will soon discover that you have no legs at all. And a man of your kind cannot have a dugo of Omambola as a pride. Does it actually mean that you want me to get married to the Arabs? Nancy, please don't beg me because it will never happen. Mm -hmm. I'm only trying to open your eyes to certain realities. Please try and listen to me, okay? I'm listening, but I just don't get you. I mean, Indubizi is now history, so the only other option is the Oracle. I have my plans. I know what I want. I know the kind of man I want to get married to and the kind of life that I want to live. I know all that, and it does not include getting married to an Can you shut up and listen to me? Ndubis was never the best option, because that wasn't what your mother wanted. You were only trying to match up to his status. That wasn't what your mother said. The man you will marry must have the fellowship of men, and he'll be the one that people pay homage to. Don't you get it? Exactly what I'm saying. That's the reason I said you want me to get married to the Oracle. Because he's the only one that has so much followership like you're talking about. And people worship him every single day. You want me to get married to the Oracle? I want to ask you a question. 
and I want you to be honest with me. If it were the oracle that your mother was referring to, won't you make your mother happy by marrying the oracle? Never. Why are you shouting never? Never. Why? Never. Have you thought about life as the wife of the oracle? Have you? I know what it is like. Until, as a matter of fact, I have seen it in my dreams. The wife of the oracle is being confined to this little hut with some maidens who are going to take care of her until they get married. And they will take care of her until she dies. And she's never allowed to leave that cottage until she dies. Until I would not be able to live my life like that. No. I can't. The wife of the oracle remains the only wife to the oracle. He can't marry two women at the same time. Auntie, have you ever asked yourself, how does the wife of the oracle get sexually satisfied? She's been raped. Raped by the priest of the oracle. You think I'm just gonna lie my body down so they can just molest me and rape me? The wife of the oracle enjoys the best in the land. The best of men and the best of everything. You have the license to change men and no man will ever play games with you. I want you to cancel rape from your mind because it's not possible for any man to rape the wife of the oracle. The oracle will kill the man instantly. See beyond sentiments and understand that your mother actually wanted you to be the wife of the oracle. He has the fellowship of men and he's the one that people pay homage to. Hmm? Let me be a think about it, okay? Person that can save us from the wrath of the king. Mm -hmm. um, we disobeyed him, and it is our belief that uh, he is going to vent his anger on us. Please. Eze Igweze is a man of tradition. 
Whatever he doesn't know, he asks questions. That is the quality of a good leader. He has already asked me what to do to you. And I told him to leave it for the gods. Uh, but Obwefi, that is where it becomes too risky. The gods of this land are very deadly. And we know that if you fail to come into this matter as the one who is the chief custodian of our customs and traditions, the gods of this land might, might, might they might kill us. Yes. And this is why we took the risk of traveling all the way from Uzo Uno this night to come to you and plead with you to please help us. The moon shall become full soon. Do what the priest has asked you to do. Everything will be fine. Obwefi, are you insisting that old Sinachi must be married to the oracle? Who am I to insist on anything? Eh? The priest had chosen somebody for the uh, oracle, and that person is old Sinachi. So, be ready to give the oracle what he wants. Or, he starts your gradual destruction. Should I tell you the truth? I am now becoming wary of associating with you. Because you have suddenly become a disgrace. You are a disgrace. Please tell me why you called me out here, or I'll be forced to leave you now. You, you, you know you are the only friend I have in this town. But tell that to the birds. If, I, if you help me as your true friend in this town, you would never have planned to sleep with my fiance, your best friend's fiance. You, you, you planned this because you have no conscience. You have no conscience. Now who's going? Who's going? Please tell me why you called me out here. I don't want to remember what you did. See, see, nah, eh, the, the, way, the way you're, you're talking, it looks as if you, do, you, you, you never want to help me again. So, eh? what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do now? See, I now understood what that old man meant when he said that you cannot face the future unless you deal with your past. There was something I did in the past that is now hurting me. Something you did? Where? What did you do? See, four years ago, before the Feast of Odaro, I raped an Omambala maiden. What? Yes. You, you did what? So many things were just happening to me that I, I, I was doing so many things that I, I, at the point I was wondering what I was thinking. You know, I raped her and I finally found out that she was betrothed to the son of the priest of Elu. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. The problem now is that she eventually killed herself when the son of the priest of Elulu refused to marry her. Now they said her blood is upon my head. I'm so confused. Indubuzu. Indubuzu. I'm not going to be part of this. I, 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 I will not be part I, I, of this. Don't, 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 don't. Listen, please. You are the only friend I have. You are the only one I can run to. See, all I want from you is just to accompany me uh, uh, to the shrine of, uh, to the oracle of Elulu. That's all I want you to do for me. Please speak on me. Atwara. I, I, I cannot do this alone. Eh? Obwefi. We are here before you. To start building what we destroyed. 
We analyzed our past actions and um, we've come to realize that we didn't get it right at all. That's why we are here. Okay. We had expected you as the father of the named bride to have appeared before the shrine and make demands for the money with which you prepare your daughter for the marriage to the oracle. Rather, you urgently planned to give your daughter out to that debased hunter of Omak. And I wonder why men should elect to give out a decent woman to a man morally bankrupt and debased. Obivu Fele, please forgive us. Please. We never knew he was the best. If you don't shut up your mouth now, I will deal with you heavily. You are the brain behind this disobedience. And I want to ask you, who do you think you are that you can stand in the way of this oracle? Obivu Fele, please tamper justice with mercy. We have we, we, we already approached the uh, with your colossal colossa. And he asked us to appear before the oracle and start in time to correct the blunder we committed. That's why we are here. Anyamarapano. Please, we are here as a family to beg for forgiveness and also to inform you that we have made up our mind as a family to bring you Sinashi before the oracle at full moon for the marriage. My dear man. Because this is Ufua Bego. Use it to prepare your daughter for the marriage to the oracle. Hmm? She must be made to appear as a queen. Ufabu. For that is what she would become. Ufabu. Hmm. Ah, hmm. Thank you very much. Darling. We shall do your bidding. No. If you could look again, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mbamba, oh God, Mbamba, Mbamba, oh God, Mbamba, Mbamba, oh God. Okay, Adema. Mbamba. You know, I'm finding it very difficult to understand what you're doing. Lubis, what are you doing here? Everyone has abandoned me. Don't also abandon me. See, Ada, you are my last hope. Me? Hey, see, it seems to me that you're gradually falling into the same pit you dug for innocent maidens. How am I your lasso? Tell me. <laughs> Stay where you are. Ada, you will not be surprised to hear that I raped a maiden. See, you have been the one defending the maidens oh. of this land. Indubizu, I am not here to battle words with you. Go straight to whatever it is that brought you here. That is what I want to hear. Okay. One of the maidens I raped in Omambala finally took her life. You're not serious. I'm just getting to know. I, they said her, her, her blood is asking me for justice. Hey. Hey, Mdu. It is finally clear to me that our gods and the ancestors of our land have decided to rise and defend us from your hand. Hey! Please, can I have a word with you? Yes. I don't 
That's not why you call me. <coughs> the oracle shall be getting married next tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I came to tell you that you are the one you are expecting to organize the maidens to the square of the oracle. Mazi, we've already received words from the king to that effect. And the maidens are ready for the occasion. Oh, that is good to hear. Uh, do you still remember what the man with the dreaded Oji master have told you about the man standing alone? There are men who believe that they are standing with people, whereas they are standing alone. Daughters of Umaku should not gather to discuss the end of a man who is standing alone. Yes, I do. He said that maidens of Umaku should not gather anywhere to discuss about the man who is standing alone. Yes. Well, I don't need to tell you that. Ndubiz is the man standing alone. Yes. He has to appear before the dreaded deity of Omambala to answer those questions. As long as he has not come there to answer those questions, I advise you to stop talking with him. I've set my mind. The choice is yours. And I'm Why are they dragging me deeper and deeper into the politics of this land? I am not a man. Ndubiz, what are you still doing here? Mba, get out. Get out of my compound. Wait, is that what he, he, he came to tell you? We're just having a discussion. Are you, you can't I, just... I am not here to discuss it. I have told you what I want to tell you. There are questions like I had that you need to, to, to answer the dreaded Elimu Shrine. Go there and answer whatever question there is you have to answer. And do not bother me again. Just go. That's exactly why I came. I've gone around everywhere. Nobody wants to help me. Nobody wants to accompany me. I've come to beg you so that you can accompany me to the dreaded Elimu Shrine. Hey! Into me. Accompanying you to that shrine, you must be a joker. Listen to me, you are a dreamer. Do not come back here again. I have warned you, don't ever come back here again. Get out. I said, get out. Don't come back here again. The next time you come here again, I will pour hot water on you. Stupid, useless man. Women cluster around you because of your meat. Get out from this company. Go away. Go away. Go. What is it?
know who I was talking about. I mean, I told them I was looking for Injakali, a hunter from this village. Stop asking too many questions. And don't give me the impression that you're looking down on those noble women that brought you here. In Ukehe, we do not look down on people. And as long as you're here, it will be appreciated if you behave like one of us. You talk with so much excessive authority. And who are you? I'm, not, I'm sorry, please. Do not let my question offend you. My name is Chege. The Injakli you're looking for is one of the great men here in UK. He has an outstanding fellowship and he has never looked down on anyone. Um, I'm sorry, please. Do not misunderstand me. I'm not from this village and I wonder why I was brought here. Ah, they brought you here because this is your destination. Injakili is my elder brother. Why are you looking for him? You are his kid sister. Yes. Oh! Why then are you a darling royalty? <laughs> I am not going to ask you if you're one of the members of the royalty because I know all the members of the royalty of this kingdom. Understand. Why is your entire house looking like royalty? <laughs> I am adorned in royalty because royalty is in the mind. Could you please tell me why you're looking for my brother? Please, how can I find a Jackie? He has gone to hunt. Is he going to come back today? Um, he won't be back until after four market days. Please, guys, stay back on your time. We just... The oracle of the land is taking a new wife tomorrow. And I'm one of the maidens that I've been asked to attend. And so I'm sorry, I can't leave you here. Because firstly, I do not know you. And secondly, I can't leave a stranger here while I attend the marriage of the Oracle. The marriage ceremony for the Oracle. Is your brother not going to attend it? <laughs> Jacqueline, my brother has a habit. And that is one of the reasons people respect him. He doesn't attend an occasion without being invited. And so to answer your question, no, he won't be attending the marriage because he wasn't invited. I met your brother just once and he did leave a lasting impression about himself on me and you have just done so. Now I know he's flows in the blood. <laughs> Thank you for those nice words. This is your father that loves you so much. Ever since your mother died, he has refused to be married to any other woman. Because he wouldn't want any woman to come between both of you. Can we ever find love as strong as that? And he told me in confidence that if you accept to be married, that he's going to consider marrying another woman. And I sincerely think you should give this a consideration. Accept to be married to the oracle so that your father can be free to marry again. I'm not asking you to do this for me. Don't do it for me. Don't even do it for yourself. But please, do it for your father. That what my family wants from me. Nothing, man. Pick up. Pick up. See it as a blessing. Pick up. 
you are going to be royalty. You will have the best of everything in this kingdom. Yes. One, Biko. See, all eyes are on us. Do it for this family. Mom, be good. Do it for us. <laughs> See, she's going now. She hasn't said anything. You said you're going to handle this. Look at her going in. <laughs> she listened to everything we said. Onye balonkete. Welekwe. <laughs> for, for how long are we going to wait? Uh, uh, when is the priest coming? I am happy to finally see you. Please, you are the priest of Elulu. Make it easier for me, please. I see the future. I see hope. Regrettably, I see the past. You are in the midst. This is the original information you ignored and now you must marry the dead maiden before you will be qualified to marry the living wife oh, 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 please I, I, I'm so confused uh, what do you mean by marry the dead maiden her name is Amuma the daughter of Okeko Fozo they are not living very far from here and the parents are all alive you must marry her, bury her, mourn her like a wife. After all, you come back here to be cleansed. Note that you will never marry any other woman in your life if you don't abide by this instruction. Oh, old one, my father told me that communication with the dead is witchcraft and warned me never to get involved in any act of witchcraft or he will kill me. Your father's advice has nothing whatsoever to do with the death you triggered. She was an active woman with beautiful plans. But you ruined all her plans. Now you must have to do all that I have just told you and you must do it now, now. Yeah. 
Oh, what is that? Well, yeah, well, yeah, we are gathered here under the full moon for you to present your daughter to the oracle. We cannot proceed without your blessing to her as a father. Families agreed on this. I therefore present your hand to the oracle as wife, with my blessings as your father. It shall be well. Thank you. This is the symbol of authority for all the women ever married by the oracle. This mirror will show you everything evil that will happen before they happen. I know you shall have a fruitful reign as the wife of the oracle. Is the symbol that confirms you are the wife of the oracle. With this fan alone, you can become a seer. Make it all the money you can think of. Nothing shall ever be hidden from you. Try and guard it with jealousy. Don't allow it to fall on the ground again. What is the meaning of this? I know exactly what the meaning is. This maiden has been freed by the moon. She is not the wife of the oracle. And we cannot make her the wife because she is already freed by the moon. With all due respect, Obuefo Kolocha, I heard clearly from the oracle. He said, Osinachi, daughter of Ichi Ugonabo of Uzuno village. And here is Osinachi standing right before us. I have not said anything that suggests I doubt what you have. The greater truth is that the moon is mightier than the oracle. And that is why the oracle waits for the full moon to take her wife. The oracle needs the blessing of the moon because he knows his wife is nothing without the moon. Right before our eyes, the moon has freed this maiden because her heart is somewhere else. Let the oracle name another maiden and we can give the fan to that new maiden. Your Majesty, surely we cannot ignite the wrath of the moon by insisting on Osnachi. She has been freed 
and she is free. This is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. Marriage to the Oracle is the best thing that can happen to any maiden. Why have you rejected the Oracle in your heart? I shall be back when you have named a new maiden, hoping that the next maiden will not reject the oracle in her heart. Could this be commotion in the land of the spirits? that we are responsible for our humiliation. You see, how could you say that? How are we responsible for the humiliation? How? If we had stood our ground, what happened would not have happened. Now my worry is this. Osinachi, my daughter, will never find a man that will marry her. Why? Osinashi is one of the most beautiful maidens in this kingdom. And there are men littered in this kingdom that will actually love to marry her. I believe that when one door closes, another door must surely open. Even most times, better doors. Anenechelo, listen to me. Do you know the implications of what happened? What happened? What implication? Now, listen. The oracle rejected a woman. And then, who will marry a woman rejected by the oracle? Onyega Anoya! My worry in all of this is this. Why will all this be happening to my family? Why will it happen to my only daughter? Why? Usinachi, why didn't you tell me that you were the maiden that was appointed for the oracle? Even if I did, what would you have done? I've been fighting a big battle within myself. I knew I was never ready for marriage. And I kept wondering how I was going to cope. Eventually, when I tried to give in to all these things, and you saw what happened today. Total disaster. No matter what happens, don't give up on yourself. There's nothing the world can ever do to salvage a maiden that gives up on herself. I saw what happened today and I know how you feel right now but don't see this as the end of the world for what lies ahead is greater than what you've seen. Ponder on these words. Go into your room and sleep, okay? I'll come again within the week to see you. Please. Promise me that you would never tell your brother that I was the maiden that was rejected. Please.
Jackery. Is there anything that you're not telling me? Ever since I came in here this morning, you have been weak. Is it because the oracle rejected the maiden? The incompetent oracle priest wanted to force down his throat. How could you, Ibuze? How could you refer to a wayfield fellow as an incompetent priest of the oracle? How could you? His incompetency showed at the square last night. The priest gave this sacred fan to the beautiful maiden of Ozono. And the oracle rejected her. Do you know what that means? It means that the chief priest chose the wrong maiden. And why would the chief priest choose the wrong maiden? It's because he's incompetent. He's in he very incompetent. This is a man of Umawa Kingdom. What's he doing in Mokwele? I told you that I will break all odds and pay you a visit in Okwele. Finally, I am here now. I want you to dismiss your left tenants because I want to talk to you alone. Never! Mm -hmm. You are violating the laws of the land by entering this kingdom. Mudakriya is the leader of our youth. And there is no one who will let you talk to him alone. Yes. Permit me to finish this man. I'm lost to be left with this man alone. He wounds it. to maintain your stand. But I'm pleading with you, Nachi. R remember all we shared together. The oath, the love we nursed. I'm pleading with you. Let us forget the past and move ahead. Move ahead? Move ahead to what? You know, as man and wife. I heard you raped a maiden. And that she eventually ended up killing her own self. How, how do you think I'm supposed to get married to a man like that? How? How? <sighs> Nachi, I have completed all the necessary ritual that I'm supposed to do to be free and marry again. I hurried everything because of you. Listen, I even heard of the rejection by the gods. And I knew you would never be happy about it. I was glad, Nachi. Nachi, you know why it happened? It happened because our ancestors want us to live together. Please, Nachi, I am pleading with you. I am. Please. See, I, I almost got ruined. Everything was just working against me using maidens. But I have overcome all that. I'm a new man now, Nachi. A new man. And I'm ready to have a wife. Nachi, you are that wife. Please forgive me. I'm pleading with you. I, I, I have to be very sincere with you. You're getting me all confused. How can you say that you are the one who stopped the marriage of the maiden to the oracle? Please, don't, don't think or, or feel that I am underestimating you. But who are you to do that? <laughs> Ask your sister and she will tell you what happened. A wife you call her child. 
the present wise man in your kingdom, who advises the king on the issues of customs and tradition, said that the marriage was taught by the moon. You people call us the children of the moon. Omuawa. It is not just an ordinary name. We are actually the children of the moon. I asked the moon to stop the marriage and that was exactly what she did. She descended to wise and knocked off the symbol of authority from her hands. <laughs> Well, let me assume that you actually got the moon to do that. But why would you do that? Do you even know the medium they wanted to give to the oracle? I I know she's a, a maiden from Uzauna village, but I do not know her. <laughs> no, my boy, you got it all wrong. You know her. You have discussed with her. You have even advised her. And right as I'm sitting with you here, she's the one right inside your heart. I don't know what you're talking about. So. <laughs> that maiden is the best. And that was why the oracle wanted to take her. I use the moon to stop the marriage because that is the only way I can pay you for saving my life. What are you doing? Don't tell me you're living. <laughs> That maiden is the best in Okwele Kingdom. You are also the best. You deserve the best. And nothing but the best. Go for her. My dear sister, can you tell me what a way for your culture said about the moon during the aborted marriage? Why are you so curious about what the wise man said? I am curious because the man from Umongwa, who just left here now, said some things that triggered a lot of sensations. He said you heard the man. Tell me, my dear sister. You cannot hide anything from me. What did the man say? I'm going to repeat his exact words. The moon is mightier than the oracle. And that's why the oracle waits for the full moon to take a wife. The oracle needs the blessing of the moon because he knows without the moon, his wife is nothing. Right before our eyes, the moon has freed this maiden because her heart is somewhere else. Those were his words, and even the king got confused. Who is this maiden? Who is she? I'm sorry, my brother, but I can't answer that. Uh, ma, 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 my dear sister, Chige Penante, why are you doing this to me? Why would you want to leave? What is it that you're not telling me? Promise me that you would never tell your brother that I was the maiden that was rejected. Talk to me. I promised her not to tell you. Why are you pushing me? My dear sister Chige Kunante, remember all the risks I have taken for you. Those I'm yet to take. Talk to me. Tell me. 
Who is this maiden? Osinachi of Uzono. The same Osinachi that came looking for you. She was the one selected to be the wife of the Oracle. But the moon stopped the marriage. I can't believe this. God. This is exactly what she feared you would do. If you get to know she was the one. She forced me to promise not to tell you. But I finally did because I know my brother is a warrior. Jacqueline, do not betray me. They said she was the best. That I deserve the best. <laughs> I thought I won't mm, um, <laughs> You know, do you know why I'm excited? Mm. Atwara, my friend. Just at the time I was thinking that the gods and ancestors of this land have abandoned me. Atwara. They are now smiling at me. Lenum. Any <laughs> <laughs> views, my good friend. Huh? This kind of excitement is not ordinary. Tell me. Tell me what happened. I am getting married. You are getting married? <laughs> to who? Onyekwan? Osinachi! <laughs> See, she is the wife the gods and ancestors of this land prepared for me. Eh? That was why they stopped her marriage to the oracle. Atora, listen to me. Listen to me. See, tomorrow, I want you to accompany me to Ozuno for the marriage. So, all my frustrations will all be over tomorrow. Oh, Meginish. How? Are you okay? Don't tell me you are insane. No, go on, Meginish. Huh? Listen, that maiden knows that you're a rapist. No, no, no. At yes, at you're a rapist. Atwara. And a murderer too. Atwara. There is no way she would get married to someone like you. Atwara, 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 listen to me. Please get that thing out of your mind. Get it out of your mind. You no longer have right to call me any of those names. I have performed all the necessary uh, uh, rituals needed for my cleansing and I'm free. Listen, even the dreaded Elulu priest wished me success in life. Look, I, I know, see, Atura, let us just keep our problems, uh, our differences, let's just keep them in the past. You are my only friend and I just want you to accompany me to Ozuno tomorrow. Look, my friend, you have to forget about that trip. What? Just just yesterday, I was talking with another man. Oh. And I found out that that girl is still in love What's with it? you. She loves you. I'm telling you. Atwara, see, see, why are you talking about Adam? See, I have reconciled with us in Achi. Let me tell you something. Uh -huh. Our Dhamma uh -huh. is the devil you already know. Wise people with Chusa Uvons in Achi. Mm. That so called angel of uh, Uzono that we don't even know yet. You. Forget about that meeting of Uzono that has already been connected with the Oracle. Can you imagine that? <laughs> and Maria Dama, she loves you very much and she can do anything. She's ready to die for you any day, anytime. <laughs> quote me. I'm your good friend. Quote me anywhere. Hey, Agogo. Uh, listen, listen. It's obvious she, she sent you to tell me this. Go and tell her that she cannot get me. Did you hear me? Listen, Atora, leave all this Adama thing. I want you to accompany me to Uzuno tomorrow and witness the marriage between, you know, the love of my life and I. What are we talking about? I should be asking you that too. Yeah. <laughs>
Who are you? My name is Njakele. Njakele Nili Onyujo of Ukehe. I have come to take Osnachi home as my wife. Look at it. Look at it. The moon had promised to give me the best maiden in Okwele Kingdom as my wife. Osinachi is the best maiden. <laughs> And that is why the moon refused to have her tied to the oracle. Um, please, let us obey the moon. Amen. I don't understand what this man is saying. Me too. My daughter is expecting a suitor from uh, Umuako village. Ndubizu. Ibutalia. Ndubizu is the man we are waiting for. So I don't understand. Uh, can you go and call me your late wife's sister? Boy, and our but I can the you in Here she comes. No. Now, can you tell us what your late sister told you about the man that would marry her daughter? He must be a man that has massive respect among men and one to whom people pay homage. Hey, she was Jacqueline, you know, you know, you is the man she saw. He has all his followers, and men that pay homage to him. He is right when he said that the moon stopped the marriage because of him. He came prepared, as we see, and is ready to fulfill all marriage rights. So, he must be allowed to marry his wife. What are we going to do? Bring her. Bring her. Bring her. Akele wheel. Takro togo characha. Ya wonda la ga chago. Ya wonda la ga chago. Na chingwam. There is a man of Fuke. He has come. He claims that uh, he is the man that must marry you. I don't know him. Imonyo. I don't know him. I've never seen him before. But our sage here, Obuefi Okolocha, has affirmed what he said. I called you here to ask you. In front of all of us here. Do you know him? Imunyobu. I know him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I am. That's what
I've been waiting for him for so long to make this move. He's mm. the one that my heart wants. He's the one I want to get married to. Oh, cool, well. <laughs> Um. Jacqueline, you're on your job, okay? I get her. I give her to you as a wife. Go and discuss with the family and fulfill all necessary rights. What's up, buddy? She is your wife. Huh? Go home with her and marry her. We are all wishing you a happy married life. Huh? Child, 
orang mana? Hmm. Can you remember what I told you? That our own Adama that we know already is way better than this maiden from Uzono that we don't even know. Atora Manim, we planned it together. They were the ones who asked me to come today. But you can see with your eyes that they are already marrying her to another man. Chai! Chim! Oh, don't go What's he gonna know for pa? If any name's a lezo, I put a give Hi. Ndubuzu of Umako. I apologize for my actions. I performed all the rituals I was meant to perform. I was even blessed by the priest of Elulu. And he asked me to carry on. Why are they marrying my woman to another? Why? You see, she is married to another because she doesn't belong to you. That maiden is not yours. Adama of Umwaku here is a woman you said you loved. Marry her now. And be sure that your future is tied to the ones you ruin. Not to the one that remains steadfast all her life. Ndubizu of Umwako, take my advice and make up your mind. I am a new man. I have been purified by the gods. Please accept me and I'll have reasons to leave. Please. I'm happy for you. Hmm? Adama. Hmm? 